Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you some of the gadgets and gizmos that help make my indoor garden grow. Over here, well, we have the uh, thermometer to make sure that the temperature isn't too low because it's kind of chilly in the basement. All right, so we caught Jared actually. He's opening this up. This one has the microgreens. So what's all, happening right all now? All I'm doing per the instructions is I need to take these out of the container because they're fully grown mm -hmm. and I need to put them in a separate spot. These back here are the ones that I'm going to keep there and until they actually leave, make leaves, I got to keep them under a cover because it's humidity. So let's see that one. Whew. How does it smell? It smells like it's been stuck in a, in a humidity <laughs> chamber for a while. <laughs> in a good way? Yeah. Oh, Maybe. what are those? Roots. That's so cool. And you were worried that there was mold, right? But it turns out that the roots are... Turns out that they have hairy roots. Yeah, they're like fuzzy. They're really cool. But they're, yeah, they're poking through. We gotta cut these and plant some new ones. Nice job, dude. Okay, so this doohickey does three things. It tests the moisture, the light, and the pH. So uh, the moisture that is in the soil, the light that the plant is getting, as well as the pH, which is the acidity and the um, base of the soil itself. And then- So like how healthy the soil is for the plant? Yes, because if okay. it's too acidic, it's bad for a plant. Oh. So how it looks is in here, you can see that there's these three different- um, Little lines kind yeah, of? Yeah, graphs, if you will. And each one, you have to make sure that the plant is in the good part. So if the plant is at night, it needs to be in the dark. If it's during the day, it needs to be in the light. For for water level, moisture, the red is bad, the green is good, and the blue is just too much, a little bit too much water. It's not that it's terrible, because some plants do need more moisture. It's just that for most of the time, most plants need to be in the green. Like maybe if it were on like a 10, that'd probably be too much even for plants that need more water. Then the last one is the alkaline, if it's the pH. If it is in the six to eight region, you're most likely fine, but they want you to really be in that six. Oh, okay. In that six, because that's the green part. But usually six to eight is fine, and then everything outside of that means you're too acidic, which means you have to fix your soil, either by adding new soil that's more basic, or by actually just, just starting over because you're probably destroying your plants. Oh, well, hopefully this is working well and we haven't, we haven't had to change out any plants, right? No, I haven't changed any plants yet. Yay, nice job. Although I have had plants that don't grow. Mm. So. Do you know why? Um, either it's based on how deep I planted them and they're just not getting the right, they're not getting strong enough to burst through the soil mm -hmm. or they may be just a little bit not ready for that type of soil. Okay. Right Interesting. Thank you. Okay, so what are you showing us now, Jared? Ooh, look at the dial go. Oh, that's so cool because you have too much light. And then when you moved your phone away, your flashlight away, the little dial went down. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. Thanks for the demo. Yep, no problem. That was pretty cool. Um, I will keep you posted on more goings on with the garden in the upcoming weeks. See you later.